Jurors saw potentially damaging emails from the owner of the Massachusetts compounding pharmacy that created tainted drugs, leading to the 2012 meningitis outbreak. Five Investigates Karen Anderson was in court and joins us with more. Karen. And JC, the email sent and received by the pharmacy owner covered all sorts of problems, from mice in the compounding pharmacy to hair on the floor that the owner blamed on the, quote, hairy beasts who work there. NECC owner Barry Cadden knew about problems in the NECC clean room. Prosecutors making that point today with emails that discussed an unlicensed pharmacy tech, oil bubbling up from the floor, a fungal bloom. The documents also showing Cadden instructed others to relabel old medications. Cadden wrote to supervisory pharmacist Glenn Chin, just relabel the old stuff and send it back out later. It's not worth the time to make a new lot. Jurors also heard about how Cadden handled past problems, including in 2010 at Falmouth Hospital, ER docs have complained that the patients aren't getting the effects. Chin wrote to Cadden about an error in production, and Cadden replied, no problem, at least we have an answer. Just leave it a mystery, no harm done. But his attorneys pointed to emails where Cadden ordered pharmacists to improve their procedures, including testing all products and getting patient names for orders. In one email, he wrote, we still need an order from a physician. The rules must be followed. In another, we need to find all holes in our process and fix them now. And today, jurors also heard how limited inspections were in Massachusetts at the time of the outbreak in 2012. Only three state inspectors to cover 1,100 pharmacies across the state. Karen Anderson, Five Investigates.